Good morning students. Welcome to our online video class of chemistry. In this video, we will discuss about formal charge and ionic compound. Previous section we had discussed about Lewis symbols. Then, and let us look some more examples for Lewis symbol. Lewis symbol of sodium. Draw the electron dot structure of sodium. How Lewis symbols are written? Lewis symbol are written by showing valence electron has dot on the symbol of the atom. Here, sodium. Sodium. Its symbol is Na. What is it? What is the atomic number of sodium? It is 11. Electronic configuration 2, 8, 1. Its outermost shell contains 1 electron and it is represented as dot. This is the lowest symbol of sodium. Then calcium. What is the atomic number of calcium? It is 20. Electronic configuration. 2, 8, 8, 2. Then its outermost shell contains 2 electron. Lewis symbol is calcium 2 dot. And as it is boron. What is the atomic number of boron? It's 5. 2. Then, Lewis symbol equal 3 dots. The formal charge of an atom in a polyatomic molecule or ion may be defined as the difference between the number of valence electrons of that atom in an isolated or free state and the number of electrons assigned to that atom in the Lewis structure. It is the difference between number of valence electrons of that atom in an isolated or free state and the number of electrons assigned to that atom in the Lewis structure. In other words, Formal charge is the apparent electronic charge on each atom in a molecule based on the electron dot structure. And the formal charge equals total number of valence electron in the free atom minus total number of non-bonding that is lone pair of electron minus half into total number of bonding shared pair of electrons or formal charge equal number of valence electron in a free atom of an element minus half into number of bonding electrons plus number of unshared electron on the atom Let us do a calculation related to formal charge. It is also a molecule. Its electron dot structure is given here. There are three oxygen. Let us number this three oxygen as 1, 2 and 3. And what is the formula for formal charge? Formal charge equals number of valence electrons in a free atom of an element minus half into number of bonding electrons plus number of unshared electron on the atom. Then here formal charge on oxygen atom 1. What is the number of valence electron in free atom of an element? Oxygen atom is atomic number 8 electronic configuration 2 6. Its valence shell contains 6 electron. So, 
6 minus half. Half into bonding electron. Here bonding electron equal, number of bonding electron equal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 bonding electron divided by 2 plus number of unshared electron. This is the lone pair of electron, unshared pair of electron that is 2 plus 2. We get positive 1. Formal charge on first oxygen atom is positive 1. Then formal charge on atom oxygen atom 2. That is equal 6. 6 is the number of valence electron of free atom of element. Minus half into number of bonding electron. What is the number of bonding electron here? That is 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 by 2 plus number of non-bonding electron. 1, 2, 3, 4. That is 4 plus 4. 6 minus 4 by 2 plus 4 equals 0. 0 is the formal charge on oxygen atom 2. Charge on atom 3. That is 6 minus half into bonding electron. This is the bonding electron. That is 1, 2. Plus Non-bonding electron. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is the non-bonding electron. Plus 6. 6 minus 2 by 2 plus 6. Equal negative 1. This is the formal charge on oxygen atom 3. Therefore, oxygen molecule can be described as charge. Formal charge on first oxygen atom is positive 1. And it's non-bonding electron. Lone pair of electron. There are two lone pair of electron. And it is bonded with the other oxygen atom. And lone pair of electron on the second. Second oxygen atom is 4. Then charge is 0. Then formal charge on third oxygen atom is negative. A non-bonding electron or lone pair of electron is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Atoms trying to gain octet electronic configuration. They try to become stable by sharing, losing or gaining of electrons. They combine together. By losing, gaining or sharing electrons to form stable molecule. And the chemical force which keeps the atoms in any molecule together is commonly known as, known as chemical bonds. Now we are going to discuss about types of chemical bonds. Elements may combine through different ways to form stable compounds. If the bond is formed by the transfer of electron from the atom of an element to the atom or atom of another element and thus give rise to an ionic bonding or electrovalent bond. If the bond is formed by mutual sharing of electron, it is covalent bond. And if the bond is formed by one-sided sharing of electron, it is now coordinate bond. Ionic bond. What is called ionic bond? Ionic bond is the complete transfer of electrons from an atom of a metal to the non-metal. Let us take an example and explain. What is ionic bond? Ionic bond is the complete transfer of electron of an atom of a metal to the non-metal. Here we are taking example as sodium chloride. It is ionic bond. Sodium is metal and chlorine is non-metal. 
then atomic number of sodium is 11 and its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s1 if one of this electron loses from sodium it gains stability then in the case of chlorine what is the atomic number of chlorine it is 17 electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p5 here the outermost shell or valence shell of chlorine contains 5 electron it needs one more electron to attain the stability because p sub shell can accommodate maximum of 6 electron sodium bond with the chlorine and one of the electron from the sodium metal transfer to the chlorine chlorine atom then chlorine acquire the stable configuration here sodium also attain the stable configuration sodium attain the stability by the transfer of an electron by the losing of an electron and the chlorine attain the stability by gain an electron now its configuration become 1s2 2s2 2p6 it attain the stable configuration of neon then chlorine 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 so the chlorine attains the stable configuration of argon and the atom which lose electron and become positive charge and it is called a cation and the atom which gains electron and become negative charge it is called a anion as a result of this a compound will form that is NaCl ionic compound cation and anion are held together by coulombic force of attraction to form the ionic bond I hope you have understood what is ionic bond what is ionic bond ionic bond which is formed by the complete transfer of electron from a atom of a metal to non-metal then as a result of ionic bonding certain changes may occur both the atoms occur stable noble gas configuration we see that sodium occurs stable electronic configuration of neon and the chlorine chlorine occurs the stable electronic configuration of argon that is the first point each atom occurs stable noble gas electronic configuration the atom which lose electron and become positively charged ion it is called a cation and the atom which gains electron and become negatively charged ion it is called anion the oppositely charged ions held together by coulombic force of attraction thus form ionic bonds therefore an ionic bond may be defined as the coulombic force of attraction which holds the oppositely charged ions together it is called ionic bond and what is meant by electrovalency a number of electron loss or gain from an atom of an element is termed as electrovalency the element which give up electron and become positive charge ion it is called a positive valency while the element which accept an electron and become negative charge it is called negative electrovalency and the low is simple for 
Sodium chloride ionic bond formation is given here. This is the dot structure. Transfer of electron is shown here. Then form ionic bonds. Let us take another example. Magnesium and chlorine. What is oxidation and reduction? The electron transfer can also be explained in the form of oxidation and reduction. What is oxidation? Oxidation is the losing of electron. An element which loses electron is said to be oxidized. And the element which gains electron, it is said to be reduced. Gaining of electron is reduction. Here the magnesium. What is the electronic configuration of magnesium? 2A2. Its atomic number is 12. It loses 2 electron. In order to attain the stability, if 2 electrons removed from or lose from magnesium, it attains the stability. Stable electronic configuration. So magnesium loses 2 electrons. It is bonded with the chlorine. 2 chlorine atom. Then electron configuration of chlorine is 287. 287. Then it needs one more electron to attain the stability. Here there are 2. It is bonded with the 2 chlorine atom. That is 2Cl plus 2E minus gives 2Cl minus. Here there are two valence electron in magnesium. But chlorine atom needs only one electron to acquire the stability. So the magnesium transfers its two electrons to the two chlorine atom. As a result of this we get MgCl2. As a result of this we get a compound MgCl2. This is the electron dot structure of magnesium chloride ionic compound. Magnesium loses two electrons. It transfers its two electrons to two chlorine atom and become 2Cl minus and Mg2 plus. It exists as ions. And this ion ions held together by strong coulombic force of attraction and form the ionic compound. And its Lewis structure is given here. As a result of this, the magnesium attains the noble gas configuration of neon, and chlorine attains the noble gas configuration of argon.